Hi there, I'm James Welsh, assistant conductor of the El Paso Symphony Orchestra. From the music director, the staff, and of course the musicians, we want to welcome you to our 89th season of providing excellent orchestral music here in the borderland where the arts thrive. Now, please plan to join us on October 18th and 19th at 7.30 p.m. in the Plaza Theater to hear a pair of Russian composers. Beginning those evenings, we will hear the dark, hued tone and razor sharp technique of Russian-American violinist Yevgeny Kutik in the playing of Tchaikovsky's beloved violin concerto. Also, in a unique collaboration with the local Tom Lee Institute, the El Paso Symphony Orchestra brings you a special multimedia experience. With treasured photos, sketches, and paintings of Tom Lee, sourced from the artist's time as an artist correspondent during World War II. Music's innate ability, as aptly noted by a conductor friend of mine, to be ambiguous is one of the greatest strengths, and for Shostakovich, it actually saved his life. He could express his beliefs that one day Stalin would be overthrown, that humanity could defeat tyranny, and he could survive in doing so. By substituting one tyrant for another, he could compose a masterpiece in his lifetime that millions of people would hear without betraying his conscience. This piece is not about Hitler, nor is it really about Stalin. Its timelessness is its consistent relevance. There will always be tyrants. There will always be suffering. What Shostakovich's symphony offers the hope that despite that, the human spirit will never be broken. Evil will always be present, but so will humanity's constant ability to resist it.